fart faces, it's me, Bev B. Diamond Paints. Today I'm going to be kitting up my Chuck Pinson Chuck Along Image Simple Country and I'll be doing kind of a whip and chat. So pull out whatever you're working on because whip stands for work in progress. So pull out whatever you're working on and I guess work alongside me. So we're going to start by cutting out these labels and let's make sure it's straight. Straight, straight, straight. There's that. And use my scissors. Whoop. And then we need to cut this end. Garbage, garbage. Where is my garbage? So what is up? What have you guys been up to? Um, today I just went out for a bit. I was getting, so I work from home and I was getting kind of lonely. So I figured maybe since I can't really see anyone because everyone's kind of self-quarantining, self-isolating, I figured I would go out, go out and about, a, <laughs> just kidding, out and about, and I would just like, I don't know, spend some time on my own. Um, I know that I just said I was lonely and then I spend time alone, but I figured I'd spend some time just like walking around, wandering around. So I went to this really crappy mall that we have here in Edmonton. It's like one of those community malls where it's like not that great, but they have like some cool stores. And so I decided I would do that, wandered around. I went to Marshall's, which is like our Canada's version of TJ Maxx or Edmonton's version of TJ Maxx. So I did that. I went to look for diamond dots because someone on Twitter told me or sent me a tweet with an image and it had, and they found diamond dots at Marshall's and they're like, should I get this? And I was like, how much is it? And they're like, $12. And I was like, yes, get it. Because it was one of those kits that would probably be around $25, $30 and they got it for $12, which is amazing. So I was like, I want to go see if I can find some diamond dots. But Marshalls, aka TJ Maxx, did not have any, so I was kind of sad. Um, what else did I do? I went to a clothing store called Ardennes, or if you're French, Ardennes. Ardennes. And it's kind of just like this cheapo, fast fashion um, clothing store that sells like cute accessories and stuff. And I was going to get some new masks and stuff, but I think for the most part, I have enough masks to wear when I do go out. It's just a matter of me actually like doing laundry and washing the masks that I have because I've just been using a new mask all the time, but it's not very ideal. I need to do laundry. I need to catch up on laundry. Sorry for the crumpling. Um, okay, so with Diamond Art Clubs, they're not sorted by DMC code, they're sorted by weight or whatever colors have the most in the bags, which I don't mind because I use this Elizabeth Ward storage system and it has assorted sizes, so I don't mind that they do it that way. I just need to find probably this one, Get that one, I'm guessing three, three, four, six. Okay, so it's probably this one has the most. I'm just gonna throw the other ones on the floor for now, so I have room. This one seems like, okay, so I'm thinking these also have a lot of frills. Let's go with this one. So let's work with this one first. Okay, let's do this. 3860. I think, I feel like that could fit in a medium size container. I feel like that could fit in there. Let's see. 3860. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Um, but I do plan on filming my whole process of kidding up. So be in, like buckle in, be in for a ride, 3860. 
So this is how I cut my numbers. As you can see earlier, I just trimmed out the actual numbers like 1 to 53 or 43, however many colors this has, I think 43. And then it just makes it so there's a little tab that's still connected. I probably should move some of these around. Okay. And this one is 739. That probably fit in a medium size one. 739. What else did I do this week? Oh yeah, on Monday. On Monday I ended up doing tr private training for an industrial equipment company here in Edmonton while well, they're outside of Edmonton. So that was fun. I was really nervous because I always get nervous when I do presentations and things like that, but there weren't a lot of people there. I'd say there's like under 15 people, maybe 15. There's 15 people that were in attendance and I was training them on LinkedIn. I th they really wanted me to push the fact that LinkedIn is not Facebook. So anything that you post on LinkedIn is a reflection of the company, which is really important because I feel like people mistakenly will share the same thing that they would share on their personal Facebook page. But the issue with LinkedIn is that whatever you share on LinkedIn, your company name is right next, right above your post. Like it's underneath your name when you're on LinkedIn. So making sure you don't treat it that way, making sure you stay away from posting about political stuff, which is like pretty much a no-go with social media. Um, well, for the most part, depending on what your brand is. But yeah, so I had to, I went and did that and that was really fun. I'm glad that it's over. Like as much as I like the company and I liked working with them, I'm just glad that like I had been stressing about it for a couple weeks and just like tightening up my presentation, making sure it's what they were expecting to learn. So I'm glad that that's over. And then next week, I forget what day, I think Wednesday or Thursday, I have a presentation at an online conference or an online summit, whatever you wanna call it. And so it's just a virtual presentation that I'm gonna be doing. And I'm talking about social media tricks and tips. It is something that I recently presented on for another online summit. So I'm just going to use the same presentation because it's a totally different audience. But I'm going to use the same presentation and I'm going to just edit it so it's more applicable to the audience I'm talking to. So that doesn't require too much work, which makes me happy. And I feel like I'm going to run out of these containers. Um, we'll see. 3371. Yeah, I really like this this com this summit that's coming up or this conference that's coming up because it's a lot of fun and they actually mail you a swag box. So it's very rare that like you would join an online conference or attend an online conference and you would get a swag box mailed to you. So I think that's pretty cool. Like that's really neat that they're doing that. Um, so I'm excited for that. I wonder if this would fit in a smaller container in this. We can try it. Let's try it, shall we? Okay. And if it fails, it fails, and then I will cry. It's gonna fit. It's fitting. Ooh, it just fits. So that's good to know. Okay. That's eight six eight. Eight eight nine eight. Oops. So yeah, we get like a huge swag box. <coughs> Sorry, just coughing, not not the pandemic cough. But we get this box, if you can see it, this huge box and it says, don't open box until March 4th. And oops, I already opened it. <laughs> so there's the schedule. Let's see if I can find myself on here. There's the schedule. I'm right here. I hate, I freaking hate this image of myself. It's a newer headshot and I just hate it because I think I look so gross in it. But yeah, so there's me if you're wondering who I am. <laughs> so 
so that's exciting. I'm excited to be presenting in the box I saw. I didn't like open anything really inside of the box. I kind of just took a peek and inside I saw, sorry, I'm just putting it back. Inside I saw a book by the keynote speaker who's like this big famous marketing dude named Seth Godin. He's going to be speaking at it. Um, and then what else did I see? Oh, there's some socks every year, like last year and the year before, or the conference before that, there were some like cool social media related socks. My boyfriend really likes the socks. So I usually just give them to him cause I hate wearing socks. Does anyone else hate wearing socks or is that just me? Literally like right now, cause I don't, if I do go out, I don't go out for too long. So I just will wear sneakers and I won't wear socks with them. Um, but if I am going out for a longer, like if I know I'm going to be a while, I'll wear socks, but it's like winter now, but I still don't wear socks because I hate the feeling of socks on my feet. I don't know if anyone else is like that. If you are, let me know in the comments below. So then we're going to move on to this strip. Um, okay. This is a really big strip. 3782. Wonder if that will fit in one of these ones. This should actually fit in. No, oh, let's just put it in one of these. 3782. Um, oh yeah, so Kiss My Crafts, aka Maritza, she did a video on showing scratch art. Uh, have you guys ever done scratch art? It looks really fun. Like it looks like it takes a lot of time, but it looks like it would be really fun. So that's something I might order myself a scratch art kit from Amazon or something like that because I want to try it. It's literally like you're tracing over lines with a scratchy pencil type thing. Um, but it looks really fun. So I'm probably going to order a kit. It looks like it takes a lot of time though, which is like, I don't know why I said though, because obviously diamond paintings take forever, but I do want to try that. I also bought a paint with stickers. So you put the stickers over, like the stickers are shaped or are different shapes. And then you put them over the, sorry, you put them over like the image where it says like put the image put this sticker number here and so you kind of are painting with stickers so I bought one of those kits just from like the dollar store so I'm going to try that out it looks like a really fun kit and there's like two owls I think I don't know if that's something that I would film a video for because I just literally want to try it and it's not diamond painting and but if you guys are interested in seeing painting with stickers, let me know. I feel like it's something that's not that interesting, but it might be. This is gonna fit in here. What else do we have? Okay, let's just put this one in here. Three, three, four, seven. I was watching Katie's video, uh, what's her name? Uh, Diamonds and Washi. I was watching her video and she was saying in her alternative storage containers to Elizabeth Ward, she said they're actually closing or they sold the company or something like that. And the people who own the company now aren't sure if they're going to be continuing making these Elizabeth Ward containers. So that's really sad. And I feel like they're really popular. Like a lot of diamond painters have them. I'm sure other people who do other crafts have them. So it's kind of weird that if they stop making them, but who am I? Who am I? I feel like that. Will this fit two of these bags? Let's see. Let's try it out. I hope that they don't stop making them because it's already hard. Like I bought my Elizabeth Ward container from Amazon and I have a storage video coming up. I think it will be out tomorrow actually. I don't remember when I scheduled it for, but I bought that Elizabeth Ward container system from Amazon and they last I checked they didn't have the sorted one that I have they just had the container system with all of the small the, like the really tiny like this size 
the tiny containers. And then I went to buy more of these medium sized containers and they don't, I couldn't find a listing for them. So I don't know if they're sold out or, um, oh my God. I just put this down. Oh no. What was I just putting in here? Oh no. 938. 938. 938. Whew. Thought I messed that up. Right? 938. Yeah, I think it was 938. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. As Abigail would say, it's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Or whatever. Everything's fine. Ooh, I thought I messed that up. I was like, what? Maybe I should put the labels on the container before I move ahead. Yeah, let's start doing that because I feel like that will be detrimental to the success of this Chuck Pinson canvas. This is going to be my first Chuck Pinson canvas that I'm working on. I'm excited, but also kind of nervous because there's a lot of confetti. Um, and to some, like, it might not even be bad confetti. Like, if you've ever done one of those Josephine Walls from Diamond Painting Deu Deutschland? Deutsch Deutsch Deutschland? How do you say it? I don't know. If you've ever done one of those diamond paintings, then the Chuck Pinson Simple Country confetti will be nothing to you. But I haven't worked on a painting with this much confetti before, so I'm kind of nervous, just being honest, because, I don't know, I love my multi-placer. And there's not a whole ton of multi-placing going on with this canvas. So we'll, I guess we'll just have to see what happens. I think this one should be good for 732. Let's put the label on before I forget. 732. I hope that I'm doing everything in frame. I feel like I might be off to the side. Let's put the camera here. Okay. Sorry. I just realized that I was like the camera wasn't fully centered and I was doing everything off to the side and you're probably like, Beverly, move the camera over and I just did. Okay, you're welcome. There's that one. 3024. That will fit in this one. 3024. Let's just cut these. There. Oh, oops. Right now, so I finished The Mentalist. I don't know if you guys have watched The Mentalist, but I mentioned in an earlier Whip and Chat that I was watching it. I finished watching it. I was so sad when it was over, but so happy for him. Um, so I finished watching that, and right now I'm watching Bosch. It's on Amazon Prime Video. It's actually really good. I started watching it. I watched the, the pilot episode, and I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be super into this one. But it's actually really good. So if you're looking for like a cop drama type mystery suspense -y show to watch, um, once you get past like the first, I'd say like three episodes, it gets really good. So I would recommend Bosch. I'm on the fifth season now and there's seven seasons on Amazon Prime Video. So there's a lot to watch. And the fifth, the fourth season wasn't very long at all. Like literally it was not very long. I was kind of sad because I always get sad like I don't know do you feel this way like you get sad when your show's ending and then you don't want to watch the show because then the closer to this to the finale you're getting because you're watching it is that just me oh no I should have put this oh no I should have put that in a bigger container because there's two bags of it and I don't want to ruin this Oh, it's so ugly. I squished it. No. Oh, look what I did, guys. Okay, I'm just going to have to make a label. Do I have labels? Why did I do that? Why? 
Uh, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw the symbol. Oh my god, I'm an artist. 799, right? Yeah. No, 779. Damn it. 779. This is what I get for trying to talk and kid up at the same time. It's an art form that I have yet to master. Okay, so there. Oh, it looks so ugly. And then I'm just going to tape it. Um, okay, that's good enough. So if you haven't noticed, I'm not like a perfectionist, but I wanted it to look pretty so I could post the picture on Inst- No! What am I doing? I meant to put this on the bigger container. Oh, my whole life is over. Okay. <laughs> this looks so dumb. Whatever. I wanted to have a nice kidding up so that when I put the picture on Instagram to show them like hey I'm joining the truck along that it, it looked nice and like all uniform but I guess it's not going to be because I ruined it I ruined it my whole life is over just kidding it's not I think I lost some drills just now but whatever this probably could have fit in a different uh do I want to switch it? Because, I mean, this would fit in here. Okay, let's switch it. Good thing this tape is removable. Okay. I need more tape now. Oh, my God. So this doesn't fall off. And we'll transfer them into here. You know what I was thinking? Like sometimes when I watch my videos over, my hands are really dry. And like if you look at my thumb in my videos, my thumb is always so dry. And I'm going to blame these containers because literally you're always sticking, I'm well I'm always sticking my thumb under here to pop these open. And I like before I film videos, I always moisturize my hands. But for some reason my thumb just doesn't get moisturized enough. So really it's not my fault guys. Don't get grossed out by my dry hands, okay? And this one is 939, 939, oh no, okay, Whew. it's not going very well for me today, not going very well at all, and I hope my camera video, my camera battery, my camera video, I hope it doesn't die, 471, will this fit in a smaller one? Oh, whatever, I saw a big one. 471. 471. Let's just cut all of these and then I don't have to play with the scissors anymore. Oh my god. I don't know why, but my hands are like shaking. This is redonkulous. Dak should like. Diamond Art Club should like just pre-cut them. So they're like kiss cut and then all you have to do is peel them. But I feel like that would be a lot of work for them. Like extra work. But th imagine how nice it would be if you didn't have to cut the labels and they just came pre-cut. Be so nice. Oh, what am I doing? 471. 471. And I didn't... I can cut it. Damn it. Four, seven, one. I would say I'm more than halfway done kidding up, which is amazing. What are you working on? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always curious to know what people do while they watch whipping chats. I usually will watch whipping chats during the day while I'm working. Um, that might not be as exciting as it seems, but that is what I do. So it's nice just to have company, company, while I kid up. And let's see. 
Okay, so I do have, okay. We're going to try and use all these medium ones because all the smaller containers are coming up. So let's do that. 415, 415, we'll put it in this big one, oh, what was I saying, oh yeah, so I like to work, like do work while I am watching whip and chats, not necessarily like the best for productivity, but it works for me, 841. And it's kind of like, yay, someone's here to keep me company while I work. But yesterday, man, yesterday I was feeling so lonely and Clayton was at work. I think maybe because Clayton was at home all of last week, like he had the week off work. Um, but he was at work and I was just like, oh, I'm so lonely. Someone keep me company. But there was no one to keep me company. And it's not like you can go to a restaurant with friends because they're closed. And even if they were open, I don't think I'd want to take the chance. So there's that issue. They just started rolling out the vaccine to seniors. So people over 75 in Edmonton or Alberta, I think, can go and get the vaccine. So that's helpful, but um, they have to register online, I think. And it's like, well, people over 75 don't really know how to use the internet very well. So hopefully they have someone that can help them register online. Ooh, look, this is the AB. Look how nice that is. So yeah, hopefully they have someone who can help them register. And people in rural communities... Um, like, I wonder how, like, if they have internet access, are they going, like, is it high speed enough for them to get to the website, that type of thing. I don't know. I worry about these things for elderly people. I think when this, this um, pandemic is all over, and I say over because who knows what's going to happen, but I really kind of am thinking about volunteering at an, um, like a senior's home, senior citizen's home, what would you call them? An elder home for the elderly? Like somewhere like that. Because I think you can learn so much from old people, older people, sorry. Is calling them old people offensive? Um, but you can learn so much from them. And I think it would be really fun. I don't know what I would do. Like maybe I would read to them. <gasps> maybe I would teach them diamond painting or we could do crafts. That would be so fun. I could quilt. Oh my God, old people quilt, right? Yeah, I would totally do stuff like that. I think it'd be so fun. And it would like get me out of the house and I don't know, it'd be fun. Yeah, I think that's my plan. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I just never got around to it before. And so it's still on my mind. These are just, these drills that just fell out are going in the trash. I don't care. Hopefully there's enough to finish the diamond painting. I'm sure that there will be because it's Diamond Art Club. Um, okay. Now we're on this one, this chain of drills where they have very little amount. But I still have some of the bigger containers, so we're going to use those first and then move on to the small ones. Hopefully I'll have enough containers. If not, I can pull out some of like non-Elizabeth Hoard ones, but I don't want to do that because then it will be annoying and not look nice. Oh no! Why? Why must you do this? Is this an entertaining video for you? If you're watching it this far, are you entertained? Oh, I just thought of something. I wanted to talk about my pens. So I'm releasing a line called Chonky Pens and Chonky because they're thick and fat. And um, I'm going to be putting them up on Etsy, but I don't know how, like I want to take pictures of them, but I want to take really nice pictures of them. Someone suggested doing a, like having a video for the listing which is like that's fine like I totally can do that and I think that I will have a 
No! Ugh. I think I will have a video for the listing. It's just a matter of like, okay, but how do I want the main listing photos to look? Oh no. Look at me. Oh no, they're going on the floor. That's okay, there's only a few. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm pushing them over the end of the table and dropping them into a tray. Can't believe I just did that. There's a couple on my legs. Why am I so klutzy today? Why? Why? Okay. Get out of my life, 738. 738, out of my life. Then we move on to 823. But yeah, so listing my pens. I have like a whole ton made. And I've had people comment and say like, oh, well, I like I want one of your pens. I've had friends say the same thing. I just need to get around to taking photos of them. And I think I'm putting it off because I don't feel as creative right now. And I, I want them, I want the photos to turn out nice to do the pens justice. But um, yeah, that's my problem, I guess. My Etsy shop currently is closed for release papers. The only thing, if you're looking for a diamond painting logbook, that is still up and available because it's just a digital download. But I took down the release papers and cover minders because I was catching up on orders. I believe I'll be opening it up again soon. I'm just not sure when. Like my heart really isn't into the release papers and I know that people love them and I know that they're different and there's no one else really who, well, I haven't seen anyone else who sells different printed release papers, um, patterned release papers, but my heart's just not in them. I might just like do a thing where I just print out a bunch and then put those up as listings because right now I accept um, people can mix and match and like request a, like from a bunch of different designs they can request a bunch of like they can request a set of assorted papers but it's just not my heart's not into that so I think I might just be printing out a few sets and then listing them and you can only just buy that listing but we'll see because I really like the idea of offering people people the ability to customize what papers they do get but it's just frustrating like printing them off and then cutting them is kind of annoying and I know I should stop complaining because it's like I should I am lucky and I feel lucky to have those sales and have demand for them but I'm just like so lazy when it comes to my store right now because I think it's because I'm like creatively blocked with the pen photos so maybe once I figure out how I'm going to take pen photos I'll feel better about it but right now I'm just like, and I don't feel like doing release papers. Mm. Okay, we're almost done. Yay. Don't spill these. Okay, these like just fit. Perfect. Four, three, three. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. Four, nine, six. Four, three, six. Four, three, six. Uh, what time is it? So it's about 2.30. It's Thursday. I am excited for Friday. I do have more work that I need to get done, but I'm going to do it later tonight. It's just content for next week for one of my clients for their social media calendar. So I'm going to be doing that tonight. Uh, yesterday for dinner I made chicken adobo. If you've never had chicken adobo, it's like a Filipino chicken dish. Well, chicken obviously, chicken adobo. Um, it's really good. And I used to make it from scratch, like the sauce from scratch. And I would buy all the ingredients, but then I was at this Asian supermarket we have here and I saw that they sold chicken adobo seasoning. So basically you just pour the pouch into the pot and you do your chicken in it um which is really easy because then I don't have to buy all the stupid ingredients to make chicken adobo because you just buy the pouch so I ended up making it in our slow cooker and it was so good like the chicken was like so tender and like pull a party and moist oh yeah so I had that for lunch today that was delicious 
Um, I had the leftovers for lunch. And then tonight, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Do you guys like eating Spam? So it's like a Filipino Pacific Islander thing. And I know like some other cultures eat Spam too, like Hawaiians and stuff like that. Um, are Hawaiians Pacific Islanders? Or they're American, but I don't know. Okay. Anyways, this shows how much I know my social studies. But um, I like Spam. I love Spam. So I'll like slice it up. Because Spam comes in like a brick pretty much and I'll slice it up and then I'll fry it in a frying I'll eat fry the slices in a frying pan and have it with rice and fried egg and soy sauce it's so freaking good seriously seriously so good if you haven't tried it I'd highly suggest it I remember when I was in Hawaii or in we were in Maui um, for my sister's wedding like a bunch of years ago like I don't know, seven years ago now or something. No. Was it seven years? Could be. Yeah, it could be seven years. It was a long time ago. But anyways, when we were there, I brought back, like, they had spam that we didn't have here um, in Canada, like teriyaki spam, and they had, like, all these different types of spam. So that was really exciting. <laughs> I made sure to pack my suitcase, and then when one of my coworkers, he'd always go to Hawaii every year, um, so he'd always bring me back like a specific type of spam. The one spam that I don't like is a Szechuan spam. It's like super spicy and it's not that great. So you can't go wrong with classic spam. But the teriyaki spam is probably in second place with the original spam. That's really good too. I'm running out of containers. And I have, okay, so I'm going to run out of containers, which is fine. 3837 because I'll just pull out some of my paint pots and I'll put the remaining drills in those but that's not good planning on my part. This color is so pretty. Okay. I have two containers left. Yeah, two containers. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my cat meowing. My battery's going to die. I'll be right back. I'm back. My battery just died, so I had to charge it. And now it is the evening time. Let's pick up where we left off. So I was doing three, four, seven. I'm almost done. But this is my second last container from my Elizabeth Ward system so I did bring over some additional containers that are paint pots I'll show you in a second so this is 136 this AB is so pretty see it can you see it it's sparkly 136 And then I have, where did I put them? Oh. I have a whole bunch of pink containers. This was my original kitting up system that I used to use. So I'm just going to put the remaining four into some of these paint pots. So we'll just take out four of them. Four, yeah. So 165. I really like these paint pots because the labels come off them really easily. I don't know if it's just the plastic that the lids are made out of, but I enjoy them thoroughly. Four, three, seven. If you made it this far in the video, congratulations. Let me know that you made it this far. You can write paint pots or something in the comments. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do a whip and chat while I kit up because it's going to be a really long one. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for paying attention to me for this long. I'm glad that I could accompany you on your whatever you're working on. Here's the last one or second last one. 
Do you guys like watching long whipping chats? Let me know in the comments if you do. I don't, I feel like there's nothing I can talk to you guys about for an hour. That's a really long time. That's a lot of blabbing. I don't know how some people do it. I don't have enough stories. Maybe I just need to get a life. So that's the last one. Now, get rid of all this trash and I'll show you it all kitted up. And here it is. Let's organize this better. There, centered. It's gonna fit somewhere. There, and then here are the extras. You can actually take this out, put the extras in there. It's gonna fit, it fits, almost, sort of. There, so there, I'm all kitted up for Simple Country. I'm excited, um, I'm gonna start on March 1st because that's those are the rules, start on March 1st and it's gonna be my first chuck along ever. So I hope that you guys are doing well and I hope that you are also doing the truck along. It'll be fun to see everyone's progress. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here and you made it this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and join my hive. I post videos on a weekly basis. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.